Without talking about submarines built by India, the defence roundup of 2024 would be incomplete. Whether it is to do with making of nuclear submarines or diesel electric ones, India has significantly increased its indigenous content by some estimates up to 60 to 70 percent. India marked a significant step in its strategic defence program by launching its fourth nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, the SSBN, codenamed S-4, at the Shipbuilding Centre in Vishakhapatnam. This development further strengthens India's nuclear deterrence capabilities, signalling its growing emphasis on securing its maritime boundaries in volatile geopolitical environment. The quiet launch of S-4. Follows the commissioning of India's second SSBN, INS Arigat, by Defence Minister of India, Mr. Rajnath Singh, on August the 29th of year 2024. The third SSBN, INS Aridaman, is expected to be commissioned next year, in 2025, further adding to country's sea-based nuclear deterrence capabilities. The newly launched S-4 SSBN is a crucial upgrade from its predecessors. It carries only K-4 nuclear ballistic missiles, which have a range of 3,500 kilometers, and can be launched through vertical systems. Unlike the first SSBN INS Arihant, which carries K-15 nuclear missiles with a short range of 750 kilometers. The new generation of SSBN, including S-4, have significantly enhanced missile range and the firepower. In addition to its nuclear submarine development, Indian Navy is also bolstering its diesel-electric submarine fleet. Under the Project 75, at a cost of rupees 23,000 crores, Indian Navy will commission its sixth French-origin Scorpion submarine, Vaxir. India is in advanced discussion with France to build three additional Scorpion class submarines at Mazgaon docks, with an estimated cost of over 30,000 crore rupees. Germany and Spain are also vying for India's 42,000 crore rupees project, Project 75 India, which aims to construct six advanced diesel electric submarines equipped with air-independent propulsion technology. Air independent propulsion technology allows a submarine to remain submerged for extended periods, enhancing their operational endurance. These submarines will also be armed with land attack cruise missiles, further expanding their strategic capabilities.